On the heels of the latest GOP debate, I met up with my good friend Donald Trump for lunch. Take a look. Okay, I'm ready for my date with Donald. Oh, here he is now. Mr. Trump! Mr. Trump! Tom, how are you? I don't usually shake hands, okay. so I don't want to get into the habit of that. No, I understand. You ready yeah. for um, our lunch date? Yes, I'm very, very excited about this. We finally get to spend some time together. Well, why don't we go get some, I, I was thinking some uh, empanadas. What do you think? That's Mexican, right? Yeah. I love Mexican food. I love the Mexican people. This is going to be huge for me. I've never had an Impala before, so this is going to be incredible. It's my treat. I can't believe it, Tom, because I'm glad that he's made peace with you. Yes. He's made peace with you. We had a bad we had a bad show, our last show, but Tom called me. He apologized, which I really, really appreciate, so I'm back on the show. Let me be the first to call you Mr. President. Thank you very much, Juan, and I appreciate that from you, because that means a lot, because I know you haven't always been there for me, but I can forgive you since you called me Mr. President. It's incredible. I own that building, that building, <laughs> that building. You know, basically I own most of Fifth Avenue. For you! See that everyone knows how fantastic things are going to be when I'm president. It's going to be huge. I love this area, the Rockefeller Center, but I have to tell you something. I'm very, very upset about all of these flags. You know, when I become president, all of these flags will be American flags. I don't, know, I don't even know half these countries. Where, where are these places? I have no idea. And you know what? I don't care. I keep losing Donald to selfies. I'm sorry. We're going to spend... See this? This is, this is all the time. No, I can take photographs. It's okay. Yeah, so at some point, we'll get together. We'll have tea or coffee. Or whatever. You like tea, right? You should look kind of like a tea guy. Oh, I'm a coffee guy. Oh, you are a coffee yeah. guy. Oh, you see, I didn't, I didn't really see that in you. But that's good. That's good. What do you like about me the most? The most. The most? Your personality. See that? She likes my personality. I'm half Zimbabwe and half Jamaican. Half Zimbabwe, half Jamaican. You know what? I could have you in the Miss Universe pageant. You could represent two countries because you're so beautiful. Aww. Get it, get it a long way. Get it a long way. Get it a long way. I'm sorry, Tom. I'll be with you one second. I'm trying to conduct an interview and everyone wants a selfie with Donald. Absolutely. In the camera? This guy? Over here? I have to tell you, this is a fantastic tour of the greatest city in the world. We have some people from Spain. Spain right over here. You love Spain? I love Spain. I love everything about Spain. It's a fantastic, fantastic. Yeah, the wine. Give me some cities. What's in Spain? Quick, quick. quick. Where are you from in Spain? Madrid. You're from Madrid? Madrid yeah. is fantastic. Another city. Another city. What's your favorite thing about New York City? Well, the favorite thing about New York City is I built so much of it. Thank you. Bye, Thank guys. You. Bye. It was great. So you got a, uh, you got some applause there in the street. You Does that what? happen often? It happens all the time. And you'll notice that it's people that are from other countries that are applauding because they know how I'm going to make America great again. And I'm not even president yet, and I'm doing it already. He's literally behind me and they're figuratively behind me. And that's what's great about New York. The vets are here. This gentleman from Bangladesh is here. This is what makes it great. Not the cabs, though. They're very, very small. I would like a bigger cab. See, this was what America's all about. You know what I mean? Beautiful women in bikinis. I love Donald Trump, and I'm going to vote for him. She loves Donald Trump, and she's going to vote for me. Are you a U.S. citizen? Are you a U.S. Yes, citizen? Yes. Yeah, see that? U.S. citizen is voting for me, and she's from Mexico. This is fantastic. <laughs> now, what is this again? Short ribs. This, these are absolutely... I never bought food from a box before, but this is the best <laughs> food I've ever bought from a box in my life. Beautiful. We'll have to come back, huh? <laughs> yeah. There it is, Donald Trump. Fantastic, right? Those are empanadas. You like those, Matt? Empanadas? I hate them. I've always what? hated them. Wait a minute. What's your, uh, Anthony, what's your, uh, what, what's up? What's yeah, your, yeah. what's going on? What's your background? <laughs> wow, 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 Tom, that, uh, that was something to watch. I mean, any, <laughs> oh my God. Any empanadas in your world? <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's the greatest way I've ever been asked my race yeah. before. Are there any empanadas in your world? <laughs>
they're, they're good, right? It's a good, uh, yeah, yeah, it's a good treat. Uh, I'm Italian, but it, yeah. I enjoy them right. as an Italian. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't the name DeVito is very confusing. Yeah. A lot of people think that it's Ecuadorian. But yeah, it's no, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you never know. I mean, you know, everyone's <laughs> all <laughs> It's a wonderful multicultural world we live in, isn't it? Do you see? It's confusing. You yeah. know, it's like, yeah. You get the uh, empanadas, they're like giant dumplings. Uh, this guy's Italian, <laughs> you think he's Mexican. It's, uh, I don't know what's going on here. There's, it's the Nucha's truck we went to. It's out in Times Square. I love it. And they have those short rib uh, empanadas, and they're only $4. Nice. Yeah, short rib. Beautiful, Anything right? from a pig. Yeah. That's exactly. a pig, right? No, no short ribs. It's beef. Beef. Just kidding. Anything yeah. from a cow. <laughs> Fantastic.